Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Life Speed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This week we are helping you to prepare for the test that comes next week. Sí. Mm. Otro test. Otro test. Porque sabemos que os gustan mucho. Sí. Sí. It's right. In the comments you really do like the tests, so we do more of them. This week we are prepping you for por and para. Mm. Entonces, hablamos de todo en la segunda parte. And guys, if you like this content, please hit the like button and subscribe because it's free. So also, this is about por and para this lesson. And if you want to get deeply into it, we do have a book available on Amazon with all of our other books on por and para. Vale. Eh, en español o en inglés? Eh, en inglés para es, en, es en más, inglés. más okay. bien una lección. ¿no? So, um, we're going to prepare you for the test next week. We have a test on por en para. Okay. Um, so, Gorn is going to explain to you the difference between por en para. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to give you some expressions uh, used with para and with por. Obviously, it's not the ultimate list of expressions. Okay. But these are very handy. So. Okay. Gordon, over to you. So, <laughs> all I, I think the best way of learning por and para is to understand the concept. There's a line of time with por and para. The, the, the timeline is this. Por comes at the beginning. Por is the reason why you get out of bed. The reason why you do everything. Por. Okay. Para, over here, beyond Cynthia, that's the end result. That's what doing what you're doing is going to get you all right so para is always the end result and in the book we say para es the ara and that's because it takes you to the end it shoots you off to the end para is, is always going to what's the end result and you'll exactly. see that when we do por que para que all right por is the reason why the, the word por is because of okay because of so this is why you do something and then para is what you're aiming to get. With para, somebody's always receiving something. Something is getting something with para. With por, no. Por is just the reason why it's happening. Yes. Yeah. So para would be the, the end result or mm -hmm. towards the end result. Yeah. yeah. So it's like a kind of movement as well. Uh, and por would be the motivation. The motivation. Then it's worthwhile just uh, talking about a couple of symbols that go with each one or movements. So para is an arrow, okay, taking you to the end result. And por has a couple of shapes. Por is this, right? When you say andar por el parque, por la calle, okay? It's like this roundabout. When you say hay un banco por aquí, we use we do this with our finger. Yes, yeah, like in English you would say maybe around, around here, about, or through as well. Through, through all of the all of the ringo rango. Okay, <laughs> para is no Okay, so for example, if you say el, el tren para Madrid pasa por Sevilla, yeah. So the train that's ending up, the end result is Madrid. It's going to go through. I wonder Sevilla. where that train starts if it goes through um, Seville to go to Madrid. Uh, Cari. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first city that came to mind. Okay. And also, por is that. Por is the multiplied sign. So any kind of, when we use per, when we use... Yeah. Um, exchange, exchange as well. Exchange, tres por this. uno, or all of the all of the buys and the fours, yeah? Yes. Okay. Um, also, por um, is used when we talk about doing something on behalf of somebody. Exactly. And this is when we have the por mi, para mi as well. Okay, because you, you've got them both. Uh, so por mi could be either on my behalf, because I can't do it. Can you do it mm -hmm. for me? Um, but also it could be like if you say, oh, fine by me. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. 
so it's we have a few expressions in English. When when you say uh, no lo hagas por mí, eh? mm -hmm. all right, we would say don't do that because of me. Don't do it for me. But it's it's not for me so I get it. Exactly. It's for me as you don't use me as your motivation. That's exactly. what you're saying, yeah. Whereas para then somebody's gonna receive whatever is happening. Exactly. Yeah. So exactly. para mí. Yeah. Esto es para mí. So I'm receiving it. Yeah. Exactly. So the man who who um, I, I'm making a cake. Yo, yo preparo esta tarta por mi madre. Okay. That's. I'm, I'm just telling you why I'm doing it. It isn't sure that it's going to my mum. Maybe my mum's not even on this earth, and I'm doing it in her memory. Exactly. Yeah. But. Because of her. Because, because, of, because her. of her. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Preparo esta tarte, tarta. Para mi madre, she's getting it. Exactly. It's for her. Oh, um, yeah. él trabaja para mí, so mm -hmm. he works for me. Mm -hmm. I receive. You receive his work. The, the, the work, yeah, the benefit of his work. Uh -huh. Or oh, él trabaja por mí, is working on my behalf because I can't do it. Exactly. Yeah? Exactly. Yeah. And uh, then we also have, we have the by. Okay, and the by also we have the by in both por and para. Mm -hmm. So we have the by in por, which is something is made by somebody. Mm -hmm. Like este cuadro uh, fue pintado por Picasso. Mm -hmm. Yeah, by Picasso. But then we have the by in para, which is the by the deadline. Exactly. By okay, so by Tuesday, by next week, by sí. next month, because that's the end. Destination. Exactly. Next Lo Tuesday. quiero para el lunes. Mm -hmm. Lunes is the last day. That's the end result. The deadline. Yeah. Para That's el right. lunes. Exactly. And also, of course, para is in order to. So in order to do something. Yeah. Which brings me to, in fact, it brings us, but it, it, it brings us back to the difference between por qué and para qué. Mm -hmm. Okay. Por qué is why. But really, it's not why. It's because of what, yeah? Because of what reason? Por qué lo haces? What I want to know is what what makes you do it in the first place. But if I say para qué lo haces, what I'm after para qué is for what? For what reason? What for? What are you aiming to end up with? So if you want to, if you just want to know somebody's motivation, you ask a por qué, and they'll answer you typically with the por qué. But if you want to know what's the purpose of all of this, then you're going to ask a para qué question. Mm -hmm. And they'll typically answer you with a para qué. Para qué is a trigger for the subjunctive when you explain. Yeah? That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, in summary, we've got para, which is used uh, as an end result. Para is the are. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is going somewhere somebody's going to receive something or somebody something is going to receive something mm -hmm. uh, in order to uh, final destination and by deadline mm -hmm. yeah and por on the other hand is a motivation is on behalf of somebody um, because of somebody exchange around or through by somebody Pair mm -hmm. and why as well. You can say por, por, or por qué. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what we're going to do now is this because obviously we've got limited time. We also have here, if you're going to, if you really want to do well in this test, and I think you do, uh, you've got to learn some expressions. Yes, most of the sentences that we're going to have next week are going to be based on these expressions, okay? Okay. Um, of course, as Gordon said, we have a book on por en para, just on por en para, in which you can practice tons of other sentences with por en para, and by the end, you'll be much more confident um, on how to use which it's when. A, it's a subject that people uh, people often think students and myself included think that you've got kind of got it controlled but there's a part of por and part of that there there's no control <laughs> okay you either know it or you don't the know art, it. the art the art of, the of art things. the part that's art <laughs> it's definitely worth it's worth spending time because we use them so much 
But what I was going to say was this, because we haven't got time to go through the expressions. We are going to add in the information on this video a link where you can download the expressions, okay, and, and what we've talked about. And then you can go through them yourself and prepare yourself for this because you need to look at these. You need to know these before you do the test. Can you tell people exactly where they have to click so they know exactly how to... Look at my finger. <laughs> right. Below this, on below the video, if you go and you look at this, like the video notes, you'll probably need to click the word more and then it'll open up and you'll see the link. And I'll write, this is the link to download the expressions for Port and Pala. Okay. And you just download them and then have a check out. There's nothing difficult there. It's just a memory, memorizing game. That's all. You need to remember that. Yeah. But lots of them are similar, aren't they? Similar in, in what way? From English to Spanish. Lots of them yeah, are Yeah, some of them, and some, can... some are not. <laughs> some are not. Sí. Bueno. Okay, so we'll see you next week. Entonces. I hope you're ready. Sí, eh, eh, y yo tengo que hacer eh, Tú también. Eh, el test Tú también, el primero. eh. Tú el primero. Sí. Entonces, eso es todo. Muchísimas gracias. Vamos. Y nos vemos. Adiós. Luego.